Hi everyone, I'm Brigetta, and behind the camera is my husband Mark. And today I'm going to make for you a delicious chicken one pot meal. It's so good, you're going to want to put it on repeat. These are the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need chicken broth, borsen and cheese, your choice. I picked basil and chive because I used it the first time and it was so good. A chopped onion, baby spinach, pre-cooked chicken, I've got garlic, orzo, unsalted butter, and then oil, salt, and pepper. I forgot to tell you guys the name of the recipe, and it's called Borson Orzo with Chicken. I was so excited, I just skipped right past that part. So I'm heating my pan, and then I'm going to be adding oil, butter, and then the onion. I've got all my other ingredients here too, all ready to go. I've got my garlic, my orzo, chicken broth. And let me tell you about this chicken broth. It is very tasty. I've tried a lot of the Progresso flavors and I really like this one a lot. A friend of mine at work suggested it and I'm really glad she did. So thank you, Denise. Borse and cheese. Now you have some choices here. We've always had this one, the garlic and fine herbs, but now we've branched out there's some other flavors, and of course I told you we're going to be using the base, basil and chive. And I've opened that up, I have it ready to go. I've got my spinach. I've got my cooked chicken. I've already seasoned it and shredded it. Mmm, good. <laughs> There's two cups of that, might need to add more. And then we're going to, of course, finish with some salt and pepper. What's this thing called? A pepper mill. I took the bottom off already. So be ready to go. It's called a pepper cannon. Oh, I'm sorry, pepper cannon. Same idea though, right? Okay, I'm gonna start with my oil. So about one turn of the pan. Butter, two tablespoons of butter. <laughs> There's, this is one small onion, or you could use half of a medium onion. Sometimes you can't find small onions. You can only find medium or large. So we're gonna cook those for just a few minutes. Then we'll start adding the other ingredients. So as long as you have everything prepped, which I like to do, this won't take long. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the garlic. This is two cloves of garlic. Of course, you can always add more. Almost all recipes, you can adjust them to how you like it in the orzo. Nope, nope. This is gonna take a few minutes. We want it to lightly brown. Okay, it's going to take about 10 minutes. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. I've turned the temperature down on the stove because what you're doing is just cooking the orzo. If for some reason you walk away or forget about it, you might need some more broth because that means that the orzo has absorbed too much of the broth. But we're ready now to add the borsen and cheese, which looks like this. Mmm, delicious. So I'll just continue stirring. Our borsen cheese is incorporated. So now what it says to do is take it off the stove. So I'm gonna move it in that direction. Turn the burner off. Okay, I've turned the burner off. I've moved it to another burner. And now I'm gonna add the spinach. Now some people like to take the stems off the spinach, which I used to like to do too, but it doesn't matter either way. So this is about two cups 
I'm finishing the bag here because I know it's going to shrink down. So we're going to stir that around. Once the spinach has shrunk down, I'm going to add the chicken. And if you decide your sauce is too thick, you can add more chicken broth. Do you think it's too thick? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I think it is. I think it Considering is. Considering. Yeah. Where it's at right now. Right. I think you should add more. Okay. Where is it? In the fridge. Well, probably not, but it's a starting point. You can always add more. You can't take away. Today's dinner is Borson Orzo with chicken. So, what do you think? Well, Orzo is one of my favorite pastas. Mine you too. use it in a lot of your dishes, and I really like it. Mm -hmm. Never liked spinach as a kid or even as a young adult, but Brigetta makes it in a lot of dishes, and I love it now. Yeah, I do too. I didn't like it as a kid, but probably most kids don't. Mm, this is good. This is really good. I like this. Now, this is supposed to serve four, so if you're going to have more than that, definitely double the recipe, especially if you want to have some leftovers. I like how you shred the chicken. Makes yeah. it really nice. We like it that way. Mm. So, we use basil and chive, but you can use any flavor, sorry, you can use any flavor of the Borson cheese. We just wanted to try that for something different. Have we used the, uh, have we used this one before? Mm -mm. Did you already say that and I wasn't listening? <laughs> no, I think I said. <laughs> the first time I made this, we used this flavor and we liked it. Otherwise, we've always used the uh, garlic and fine herbs. It is good. Mm-hmm. My dad used to like this with uh, wheat thins. Mm, yeah, I can see that. Do we have any left? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, this flavor, no, but we have the other flavors. Let's give it a try. I know. I love it. Well, this is a winner. I'd say so, too. So, don't forget the recipe is down in the description box. So, if you click on the name of the video, it'll pop up. And the uh, recipe will be right there. So, don't forget to like and subscribe because that helps the channel. And we'll see you next time with another great recipe. Take care. Bye bye. That's good. On the highway, it's our way. Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. Yeah. No, nothing's complicated. Wanna make you repeat it and repeat